the, just a, a lot of people have their like stories right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sweet Tea, he got PR'd as one of the first people to get PR'd. Yeah. It's a PR for a very good while mm -hmm. towards the last end of Smash 4 and then came back and got a PR spot. Yeah. And now we got uh, Stitch versus Gaio. I did ask yeah. him what his tag kind of refers to. Uh, it is a choke of the name Bayo. So. Oh, yeah. Of course, Stitch. That's so Gayo. Stitch. Ah, yeah. Hold on. Let me, let me find his Twitter. Look, I love yeah. this kid. I love this kid for a reason. I love this kid because it's funny to talk to and funny to say things. But if you guys want to follow a solid Twitter, like a Twitter I enjoy, uh, Stitches. Stitch's Stitch Twitter is actually pretty good. Stitch's Twitter's troll is all yeah, hell. It, it is, it is. But I, I, you know what? It gets me, it gets me to chuckle. It yeah. gets me to chuckle. Every now and then I look at the Twitter and I'm like, all right, Switch put out a pretty fire tweet. Yeah, he's one of those people that like you can you can't take seriously. I'm about, to, I'm about to shout you a hold the phone, man. So you're gonna follow him at R E two G O R U Y K E N at Ret Two Gore U K. Uh, and so R E T T. I'm sorry, R E T Two G O R Y U K E N. Hey, bro. At Ret Two U K. I don't even know if I said that right. Can't believe you got sponsored by Twitch, bro. I can't believe I got sponsored by Stitch. Yeah, no, I got <laughs> sponsored by Stitch. I, I, I can't believe he owes you like what twenty dollars? Well, maybe. I, that, that, that's I, a I, get a, I get a profit of the followers, right? Yeah. <laughs> Where's my? Hey, you better you better shout your boy out. <laughs> No, I and all, and all honestly, I actually love this kid. He's really fun to talk to. Always has great games to play. Mm -hmm. Honestly, he, he's a good guy. I, I love him, dude. Like, what more can I say? Anyways, let's get into game one here. It is going to be Stitch versus Gale. Of course, rocking the Gale. Actually, the last time I saw him, he kind of gave a specific player a certain trouble. I can't remember who, but he kind of. Oh, I think it was Nito. Yeah. Nito. Nito. He gave Nito some trouble. Yeah. And uh, like honestly, uh, Gale has been like. He's. I thought. He, I'm pretty sure he was playing Smash Four as well, and he played Sonic back then. Yes. And like, he would not go to anything, and then he pop up and he just beat a PR player easy. Mm -hmm. Oh shoot. Um, speaking of, that move's broken. Yes. That move is so broken. It is pretty much Palutena Explosive Flame with a with, with, a, with, with a, wind a wind box. box. Yeah. That is disgusting, broken. And you can't jump out of it. You can't shield it because it pops you up. <laughs> yeah. It's you have to be careful. You have to jump away. You have to jump away. Yeah, and you kind of have to amount for the space in which the hero will actually get it for too as well. Mm -hmm. A lot of one of the a lot of the heroes attacks you have to really understand when you gotta shield them too, because they don't have too much shield damage on you, but you still have to respect a lot of them, especially one of them being like flame slash. Mm -hmm. uh, I think the one that we saw earlier was it Kassiz or uh, uh, Sizzle. Sizzle, yeah. I have to respect Sizzle and also Hatchet Man does break shields. Yeah, but you can't. You don't really need to respect Hatchet Man nowadays because it's so slow. It's like a Falcon punch, dude. But yeah. you, you but need. If you're not to, ready, it'll break the shield. Yeah, you, you need to respect Kaboom. Kaboom yeah. is the yeah. biggest one, and you have to respect uh, the power ups. Because if you have um, Psych Up and Oomph, that breaks shield with nearly nearly any aerial. Except yeah. like up air. Nice, he's got to accelerate. Mm -hmm. And this is that. Ooh, that was close. Ooh yeah. cut this, the jump. That was the only time that accelerate up air would actually kill us with accelerate. Yeah. and But it, like, it. Accelerate fair. I've seen people just get like fair to oblivion after accelerate. Yeah, it's very similar. It's, it is very similar to Shulk's property of being in jump like, art. Yeah, in jump art, except it's faster. <laughs> yeah, it does make you a lightweight and increase speed. It versus does jump art. Yeah. yeah, versus jump art that only makes you lightweight. Yeah, but it's it's still a ridiculously good move. That was good from Stitch to help the shield there at that particular part of the ledge. Yeah. Kind of sense out the fact that Gale may be actually coming with an air open option. Like, go, go, coming in with something cheeky. Yeah. Yeah. Also, oh, this is another problem. Yeah. Being in bounce, he is immune to those uh, grenades. The one thing, too, is that characters like... So, so the way that it works for Hero, for those of you guys wondering, you do get bounce if you are fighting more projectiles. Mm -hmm. Bounce will have a more higher percent of appearing, and then zoom will appear higher if you are off stage. Off stage. stage. Yeah. yeah. If you're in the, if you're like in the magnifying glass. Exactly. So it has those options. I do like the option from Stage though. He's not going to go ahead and go. Um, and snake anymore. Snake anymore. Simply because he knows. You know what? Bounce appeared one too many times to my favor. Mm -hmm. I would rather be as Ken for the rest of this match than have to worry about Bounce a snake. Yeah. And uh, low-key, Stitch is like, like uh, I want to say, <laughs> this is so mean. He's, he's basically like uh, <laughs> Discount Key. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he is. Same characters. <laughs> you know what's funny is that they do talk and they have, I know they have played and they have yeah. conversations before. But you know, 
Like, there's always that one guy that you just, like, you're just so similar to, you know? Yeah. And like, you, and it's nice to have someone that you share characters with, because you have like, you can share like information, game plans and yeah, strategies. bounces off of each other. Oh. I like it. Stitch looking for the landing here against Gale. Kind of has to respect the sword. The one thing about Hero here is the aerials. They do have low startup frames, but they're very similar to how Shulk's is. Even though they don't have the range, you kind of have to account for. Okay, it's a 12 frame move, but I did. Oh, drop lock. But he didn't. He didn't get the dare after. Oh, careful with the pair. Oh, I was gonna say, watch out with the actual opportunity there on the tech situation. Mm -hmm. It's gonna be really hard for um, Stitch to kind of open. I mean, to get. Gaio into like these kill setups because of how the how long that sword is and how weird proximity jab is. Oh, but he got it right there. I do like oh. the way. So one thing I'm liking about Sitch here is that he's making sure every time he fights Gaio, he does bring him towards the ledges here. The opportunity here is when he wants to keep him in the ledge, he sometimes drops a little bit too early. Mm -hmm. Like so, this time he holds the shield. He's got him at the ledge. How long can he keep him here? But unfortunately, he drops a little too early. Yeah. Sitch gonna recover. Hit Gonna block Bang and block Whack, because that Whack would have definitely killed him. Yeah. yeah. That's one thing I like that he's doing. He knows to shield the, uh, all of the specials. Yeah. Like, as soon as he starts reading, that, that's when you press the R button, dude. Mm -hmm. uh, or jump. <laughs> yeah. One of the two. And so far, he's been doing a really good job at it. Mm -hmm. Bounce, not going to really affect Ken too much, unless he's trying to get rid of uh, Hadouken's. Yeah, but uh, Ken's Hadouken game isn't as much. Ooh, that was death. Yeah, it isn't as good as Reeves. Mm -hmm. Yeah, okay. This is damage and pressure on the shield. I love the size and the pressure that Stitch was able to put on him. Yeah. Oh, got a crackle slash. slash. Ooh, I like the read. Do it. Yeah. Yeah. Stitch is not too, yeah, he's not too pleased about it because he knows how his opponent where he was too. Mm -hmm. Sizz and sizzle. Well, it's, oh, but he's Ooh. dead. I talked about Hatchet Man. <laughs> I talked about Hatchet Man. <laughs> he thought he could. He thought. He's like, okay, whatever he throws out, I'm gonna focus through it. Oh wait, hold on, this breaks the threshold, dude. Yeah, Hatchet Man is one of those moves you have to watch out for. Oh my wow, god. Wow, 55 off of two of those thunders. Yeah, th those, yeah, those thunders are ridiculously yeah. strong. And I then, don't know why they do 25, dude. And they actually have, I think it's either intangibility or invincibility. Oh, oh Hatchet no, Man, one more man. time, off the roll, get up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Gale will actually get up. <laughs> Why are you getting hit by those? <laughs> why, uh, no, uh, my question is, why did you roll get up? Yeah. yeah he 